I set off for the three and a half hour journey at 4.30 a.m. and headed west, leaving England and into South Wales. I stopped to pick up Gennady, the awesome photographer that I met recently in Swinley Forest, who helped me with some photos and videography for the day. Afan Forest is located in Neath Port Talbot. The local area stretches from the coast to the borders of the Brecon Beacons National Park. Over 40% of the land here is covered by forestry and many parts are world-class mountain bike trails. The trails have been carved out of the hillsides that were once surrounded by coal mining, but now the valley has been transformed into a biker's heaven. Uh, it took about three and a half hours to get here, but well worth it because I've never been here. As far as I've gone in Wales is I went to breakfast, I've done bike park Wales, but I've never done Afan. So. I'm really looking forward to this. We've got a loop which is about 24 miles. It's uh, W2, I think the trail is called. So we've got a few bikes here, loads of Levos and Canevos, as standard, as you'd expect. We've also got Cube high bike, three 2019 Levos, and one, two, three, four, five Canevos. Let's have a quick look. Gennady's on a Canevo. Got a nice matte black Canevo here. Another Canevo, 2019 Canevo. Another Canevo, high bike and a cube and three 2019 Levos. We're not going to look at those, seen those loads. <laughs> good it's actually really dry on this part obviously the water has just run straight down it's kind of covered in uh, little tree twigs and branches and all that stuff to kind of soak it all up nice view of the valleys i'm just going to head over on that fire road just up there a the little descent around the fire road then loop back <laughs> Oh, lovely. Whoa! <laughs> Very nice. Oh man, what an amazing way to spend a December day, a December Sunday. Alright mate. You must have a fair few amps running through those. <laughs> So what's this called that we're about to do? The wall. The wall. We're about to do the wall. Uh, no, it's no. white. This oh, is white. It's not. It's, it's not. It's oh. white. I think we've just climbed the wall, haven't we? Oh, we climbed the wall. So we climbed the wall. <laughs> we're just about to hit white. <laughs> yeah, we've done our, We've come up on the wall. Come up on the wall. Okay. So we've just come up all the way down there. We're about to hit. Just down there. Haha. <laughs> Very nice. We did a bit more speed for those, but that felt good. Whoa!
This is an amazing trail. Boardwalk. That was good. Oh. Look at that. Stunning day for a ride. I know. I mentioned that already, but it's pretty cool. What's down here? Ooh. Little drop. Ooh. Another little drop. Lots of guys in front, I was just chatting. Ooh. <laughs> this is an amazing trail centre. I'm so impressed. So good. Oh, wet foot. Gotta be down here. that it's crazy crazy view nice yeah this is well worth coming to if you've not been here before and you're in a few hours drive it's definitely worth ah there they are coming along to see Nice. No jumps if you've got enough speed. This is insane, look at that. Wow. Nice view. I know I get really enthusiastic, but I just, my mouth opens and a shout and some people are used to the views like that but I'm not so it's always nice to come out of the forest and just see an awesome piece of scenery I mean look at this it's fantastic there we go Glen Coig Ponds and mountain bike centre. Yeah, four camper bases. This is Martin's over here. Oh, brilliant. Oh, yeah. Sits on charge for a little bit while yeah. they charge. Don't need to charge? Uh, I'm all right at the moment, I think. Yeah, I've got six battery. So we just stopped off for lunch. We're going to head back to where we parked. It's a few miles mm. and do a couple of trails around there. The rain's just started to come down. That is nice. Yeah, that's cool. Super old. Is it an old railway bridge? A little, little water, water slide. Conditions have deteriorated a little bit, but we are still out. Just about to do another couple of trails. The red, what's the red called? Penheath. Penheath. Can you squeeze through? Just about. Oh, just. Whoa. Pitch black. Who turned the lights out? I cannot see. Oh, I cannot see a thing. All right, it's opening up. I got it. Ooh. 
that was a test for the senses. Opened up a bit. It's still quite high. Oh. Another stamp. Yeah, mate. I like that one. That's good. Another great ride out with some awesome people. It's been so good. Again, discovering a new place that I've never been to before in South Wales with some fantastic scenery. Some really good trails, fantastic trails. Great group of lads that have come along and uh, just had a good time. And look at that, got outside and had fun. So, if you are watching for the first time, I do bring electric mountain bike content all the time, every week, at least once a week. And uh, be cool if you could subscribe and if you like this kind of stuff give me that thumbs up and if you don't thumbs down but it helps me work out what people like and I can keep putting more of that good content out that people like so cheers and uh, peace out and until next time I'll see you soon. We covered the W2 trail and then peeled off towards the end to do a red section we did just under 28 miles with 3,704 foot of elevation and the ride took us just over three hours. It's not super technical. It's a black more because of the distance, but it's not that difficult if you've got some experience. So definitely check it out and give it a go.